Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from Mego and our world's greatest Migos Monsters line. Here is the Phantom of the Opera, Mosque of the Red Death, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room, coming from my room to yours. And today we're going to unbox and review the world's greatest Migos monsters, the Phantom of the Opera, Mosque of the Red Death. If you are a fan of horror and you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next characters just like this one are going to appear. And trust me, we have a whole lot of them coming. Today is all about the Phantom of the Opera, the Mosque of the Red Death. Here is Lone Chaney Sr., not Lone Chaney Jr., not the one that played the original werewolf, but his father, Lone Chaney, uh, who played the original Phantom of the Opera in the 1925 black and white musical film. And here it is. This video was also re-edited, I believe, around 1929 through 1930. Um, you can go ahead I don't know fact by fact by fact, but what I do know is somewhere along the line in there, in this film, in this black and white beauty, they brung color to life. Believe it or not, folks, there is a scene where the phantom himself is, before he reveals his face, comes walking down the staircase that you could see right there, okay? comes walking right down the staircase and what the film editor or the actual guy in charge of the whole production did was he hand painted, hand painted in that time, every piece of stitch on the Phantom. So when he comes down, you get to see him come down in that red velvet and it looks really remarkable. You could do the backstory on that and check it out on your own if you feel free to, but this is a classic and to me a lot of horror was created from Lone Chaney. These are some of the first horror movie films made up there with Nosferatu, um, up there made with Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Um, these are the classics. These are slightly before the original Frankenstein and slightly before the Wolfman and Dracula, um, but He's an original classic. Also, you have the Hunchback of Notre Dame, which Nor Lone Train Cheney also, pardon me, played in the early 1920s. So I believe that one might have been around 1921. Um, but I believe that the, um, what was it, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde might have been 1919, 1921. So between 1919 and, and 1925, Lone Chaney put out some of the greatest horror classics of all time. And Mego, with their world's greatest Mego's Monsters line, is bringing it back and educating a lot of the younger crowd with this. Uh, so, much applause, Mego. You guys are doing it out there. I would love to see a NECA version of this. Hopefully, in the future, we can get one. But today, it's all about Mego. This is my first ever Mego unboxing on Moe's Toy Room. So, let's check it out. You can see that beautiful package right there. Not really much to this. Mego has a different way of making action figures. But they give you a better cost at it, too. So, this figure was roughly around $14.96 um, retail U.S. dollars. Uh, they've given us just the cardboard package. You can see from the side right there and the blister bubble. You can see the Phantom kicking back behind his window pane, locked in his plastic prison, and he's going to be released fairly soon. This is for ages 17 and up, so go head over to Walmart. This is where this one came from, over in the collector section. They will have them there. That is usually the electronics. Look around there or ask somebody uh, where they carry their Migos. If nobody tends to know, ask somebody else and you will find the NECA section along with it and all the fun code pops. You can see the beautiful back right there of this beautiful icon right there, Lone Chaney, as he is playing the Phantom of the Opera, Mosque of the Red Death. Okay. All right, folks. So what we're going to do is we're going to save some time by taking it out of the package and we're going to be right back and review them. All right, folks. So right here we have detail of the tape and centimeters wise, he is 
roughly around 20 centimeters to the top of the hat. Okay, the hat does come off, but translate it to inches. He's slightly under 18 inches to the top of the hat. When you take the hat off, he might be a little bit smaller, checking in at around seven and three quarter inches, I would say US, which would translate to about 19 and a half centimeters. Okay, if you look at him right there, let's put him side by side with the neck of Frankenstein. You could get a good view of that as to how he could look um, if NECA was to make a version of him. If you want to see this unboxing, head into my library and check it out. That's him next to the neck of Frankenstein size-wise. And then here he is size-wise next to the City Hunter of Predator um, from Predator 2. Uh, you can check him out right there. It gives you an idea uh, with the um, scale that Migo is giving out um, to us. If you are heavily into the Universal Monsters or Horror, period. Because most of the time it'll be Migo. It'll be uh, Sideshow. Uh, some Hot Toys maybe. And NECA will give us a lot of horror. McFarlane used to give us... A lot of horror with their movie Maniacs line back in the 90s, but that has since ended. I would like to see McFarlane branch into a lot of that. Hopefully in the future, but fingers crossed. But right now we're getting a whole lot of horror, especially from the Universal Monsters. So I am very grateful for that. This beauty comes with his hat. Okay, that's about all it does. It has his crushed velvet robe. And Migo tends to want to go reflect back to the late 60s early 70s on the way action figures used to be so as far as finding a whole lot of articulation this is just a doll folks um he has cheesy clothes on underneath that aren't really the greatest of likeness to it you can see that but his robe is velvet which i do like because in the original classic he does come down with that i wished that they would have done the same with his hat if they would have made it the same material other than just giving us just a bare red hat but i'm not going to complain all right folks so let's put his hat on for you can see how he looks like that okay there you go so he would have been just strolling down to his guest over there at the ball uh coming down the stairs and then he has the phantom mask on then he reveals it and you get to see his skull face for the first time and people were in horror and in 1925 in theaters um people were just running out of the theaters when that happened i mean this was scary to them okay so let's give him a quick turn i've been looking for a figure like this for a long time i'm a long time horror movie lover between that and star wars and a lot of the NECA product and mcfarland product with spawn I love a lot of toys, um, but on my free time, I like to spend a lot of time um, either watching pro wrestling videos, older ones, or I like watching the old um, Grindhouse movies, Universal movies, of uh, uh, the Hammer movies, of uh, the old original uh, Screamers of back in the day. Um, I like them. Lone Chaney, Lone Chaney Jr., Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff. Um, the list goes on and on and on uh, up to Robert England, uh, Kane Hodder, um, Tony Todd, um, Sid Haig. I, I like the whole crew of monster guys and I like their backstory on the actors that play them. All right. So let's, it's review time. Let's take this off. This is not really coming off to, I, I don't know, maybe it might slip off. Yeah, it is. There you go. All right. You can get a lot of good look at that cheesiness right there. What I mean. All right, now he looks really bare. Okay, head does not move down or up. Only goes side to side. How Migo used to be. Any of you old timers such as myself. Ooh, look at that. Stuff just flying right off the shelves. Any of you old timers such as myself that were around during the days of Migo with their superheroes line, you would know that this is how it was with the original Spider-Man and Batman and, and um, Aquaman and the original Iron Man and all those. They were like this, okay? So arms do go up. You can feel that right there. I try not to break this guy because, yeah, it feels very delicate. 
very delicate. There's no bicep swivel, nothing, just simple joint work on here. Hands move around, they go up, down, and they move around slightly right there. They are in a ball joint. Back in the old days, they weren't like that. They would just move like this, okay? And then he does have swivel at the waist right there. And what Migo does is they have a lot of movement right there at the waist. They always have, for some reason, even back in the day, the figures were originally like this. And a lot of movement in the legs, okay? These figures were made to beat up. Just single joints all the way around on the knees, all that. No side to side, no tilt rocker, nothing on the feet work. There is not even peg holes to hold this doll up. I say it's a doll because here you can check that out. No peg holes. Nothing special about it. And that's it, folks, for the review. Um, this is Amigo. This is Amigo. All the way around. Um, you can't. You can see underneath how they roll. There you go. Okay. Just. Yeah. So most of the time, though. What Migo will do is they'll probably change the color of the actual torso underneath, but they'll reuse a lot of sculpt on this and they'll add different heads, different attire, um, and they use a lot of reuse. So, hey, but anyway, this is my first Migo unboxing. Hopefully I can get some thumbs up on this. Uh, please feel free to share this video if you are a horror movie fan and you want to let buddies of yours know if they are also in the horror uh, check out Mo's Toy Room and give us a shot. We got a whole lot coming and we've had a whole lot in the past So we do have a lot of horror on here and we have a lot more coming too So all right folks, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this thing up We're gonna put them together and we're gonna take it home Hey right, folks, so that'll do it from Mo's Toy Room to yours If you like this video, you have not yet subscribed to this channel Please feel free to hit the subscribe button hit that bell for notifications So that we know when the next video like this one hit by giving us a shot Check us out. We have a whole lot more of horror and original Universal Monsters coming that I already have figures to and they will be unboxed very shortly. So stick around and check that out. You could also follow us on Instagram at Moe's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Moe's Toys on Instagram. We are also on TikTok. So head over to TikTok. Check us out. Moe's Toy Room. Go to Moe's Toy Room on TikTok. And there we are. So from most to yours, everyone, good night.